Okay, so you talking about R&B, and then you talking about branching out. Okay, let's see, let's follow that right quick. Let's see, let's see. Okay. So you sing? I sing and I rap. I produce, engineer, everything. So let, let, let's talk about your singing career. Like, like what, what kind of accolades you got behind your singing? Like, <laughs> well, you know, um, you know, well, shit. The stuff, let's talk about the stuff you want to be known for first. Okay. And then what we'll also got you to where you at right now. Okay. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I, I've been doing music man, since high school on the cool. You know, since way before then, my mother was an entertainer. Uh, my father was a dancer. Okay. Um, internationally and stuff. When we came over, that shit was just in my blood. So then when I got into like high school, in middle school, high school, I played all different kind of instruments and shit. And then I really started just getting that vibe of doing shit. So then um, we broke off and I did a little, um, it was a dude named Gerard Green he used to play for the uh, for the Broncos way back in like the early 90s. Okay. So he had a record label out here, man. Shout out to Gerard Green for the opportunities he gave us at that time. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody play a role in your life to get you where you had to go, good or bad. Right, You right, feel me? It's right. all part of the book. Right. So, boom, we did some stuff with him and everything. Boom, then fast forward. Then I, I was doing my own thing. Then hooked up. You know, we do the whole little hootie hoo and hooked up with my boy Erskine. Rest in peace, Erskine. Walter. R.I.P. And at that time, then he was, um, then we broke off for started doing parties. Boom, fast forward. He was doing more of the, sh of the promoting still. And we was, I was still doing the artist thing. Okay. And um, from talent shows. And we had an R&B scene group back in high school and shit. And um, that's when that whole little Gerard thing happened. And um, boom, and then Erskine said, hey, I got Tony down here, man. He wanted to put high five back together. I said, you bullshit like a motherfucker. Man, you crazy in a bit. Right. Yeah, that's what a motherfucker would normally fucking say to you when right, you say some it. shit like that. Like, you just chilling and nigga right. like, yeah, yeah, uh, Tony Thompson want to uh, wanna put you in a group or something. He trying to bring you back together. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. What you saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? That shit like that. Right. So, no, well, well, pick me up. Let's do it. Boom, this head pulled up, boom, Tony pulled up, we started high side, and then we just brotherly love from the gut, from, you know, from the jump, Instant. you know what I'm saying? Instant, bro. And um, the high five, so he put the high five back together. People know high five from back in the day, you know, kissing game, unconditional love, everything, all those all those good records, Waco, man. Texas, you know shout saying? out. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out, even shout out to the new high five. Yeah, you know, the new ones, yeah. the, there's the, They actually put the group back together, and there's some and there's some of the original members from that group who are. There's like three of them, ain't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, three I believe original, so. There's three, yeah. three originals. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, and, then, and then and then and then two other ones, and I, but I was part of the group where it came back around the 2000 era, around the 2000 when he put that back together it was Tony, myself, uh, Joe Sean, Jay Smooth, um, and uh, Samaj. Okay. And then you know at the time we kind of like switching members and shit like that, just part of the shit that you go through, you know, like any other group like Black Street and fucking yeah, all the motherfucking New Edition and all right. that kind of shit, right? right? So we're going through all that shit, and it, it, it did what it did, and and you know I got a chance to really experience some really great stuff, man, out of that, you know, like performing with artists that I never would have been able to dream that I'd be sitting here talking next close to me, you sit like Gerald Levert, you know, right. and and fucking Silk and and all just different people, I can't even great. name them all, you know what I'm saying? And just like, chopping it up and. Shit. Shit, you know?